All right, good evening, PA Figs here. It is December 7th, it is cold outside, and it is not too warm in the greenhouse either. You can see the thermometer over there. It's just under 60 with the small heater going. So uh, fig trees are starting to go dormant in here. You can see all the leaves are starting to drop. But we do have a couple of uh, ripe figs here to try. So this is, let's see if I can get the tag, my Bordesot Negra Ramada Knot. So you can see none of the figs, I uh, got some pests on there, but none of the figs have stripes. Now granted these winter figs don't always look quite like they're supposed to, but in the summer this guy didn't have stripes on it, but it did produce a delicious fig. So I'm interested to see what this uh, winter ripened one probably hasn't seen too many uh, warm nights lately but it did have some warm days with the sun coming in through the greenhouse and then let's see what else do we have here is a I-258 again these are all winter ripened and there's a uh, come on focus not a lot of light out here tonight unfortunately so there is the I-258 a little bit past ripe. It's a little too squishy, but we'll cut it open and see what we got. Alright, what else do we have in here? Let's see, there might be a black Madeira. Uh, there's one that's split up top. You can kind of see it split from the humidity there. I'm not sure I see any ripe ones. Wish I had more light in here, but you can see there's a Martenica Ramada. That's ripening a little bit. Well, there's an overripe. Boy, it's hard to see. There's an overripe black Madeira there. I'm going to leave. Well, that might be it for tonight. Here is my uh, my black Madeira UC Davis. It actually put on some decent growth in the uh, later months here. But uh, now I just need it to go dormant so I can store it inside. We do have some cold weather coming. It's supposed to get down to um, 27, 25 degrees outside. So the uh, greenhouse should stay above freezing, but barely. So it'll be important that these guys go dormant so I can put them in the garage. Not worry about the freeze damage like I had last year. All right, let's cut these figs open. All right, so here are the figs. There ended up actually being two of the uh, Italian 258s and one Bordesot Blanca Negra, or no, sorry, Blanca Ramada Not. So I'm going to start with the I-258s. Let's take a look here. This one was the one that I think is spoiled. But let's cut her open and see. Well, actually, it doesn't look that bad at all. Looks pretty good. It's uh, pretty jammy inside. Colors aren't picking up quite right, but uh, you're just going to have to trust me. It looks pretty good on the inside. I don't see anything squirming yet. Always a good sign. I think it's too cold now for the uh, spotted wing Drislophila. Let's check out the, uh, the smaller one here. Alright, the smaller one looks to be not quite ripened correctly. You can see it's a little bit um, lighter in color than the big one. Usually that tells me that the sugars didn't develop quite right. Okay. Let's take a look at the Bordesot Negra Ramada. The, uh, I only got one fig off of this tree this year in the summer. This is only my second fig. Oh boy, it didn't ripen correctly unfortunately. You can see that pale color <clears throat> sugars didn't develop on it. So this is not going to be, uh, unfortunately I was looking forward to this tonight, but not going to be a, a good one to try. And, that, and it happens a lot when it gets cold out. It just doesn't have the uh, the right heat to get these things to ripen quite right. So, alright, well I'm going to try the Italian 258 at least, see how it is. Alright, here is the inside. You can see that, that jamminess I was talking about. Looks pretty good. 
Again, none of these figs that are ripened in this colder weather are going to taste nearly as good as the summer ripened. But it's nice to have fresh fruit still. So let's go ahead and give her a try. Mmm. That is actually mm, extremely good. I'm very surprised with how uh, cold it's been out there. That is really, really good. Mmm. I'll tell you what, for early December in Pennsylvania, that's a darn good fruit to eat. Hmm. Well, the tie in 258 continues to, uh, to continues to impress. Delicious fig. Very, very good. If you don't have I-258 yet, sounds like it's one to uh, add to your wish list. Alright, I'm PA Figs. Have a good night.